Hello, sorry about the lighting. My light bulb right above um, my computer desk went out and so it's going to be all dark and stuff. Um, I need to buy more light bulbs. Um, but hey, I made a delicious dinner. Hopefully you can see it. Um, we have... Ooh, it's hot. We have hummus with carrot sticks and pita bread, homemade pita bread, homemade hummus, and we have some olives, a mix of black pearl and Kalamata olives. So let's calculate the calories. I'm sure it won't be too many because it's like vegetarian. Uh, now even though this is dinner, I'm logging it as breakfast because it's my first meal of the day. Um, because it's like 2.30 in the morning. Um, I would say that's probably about two cups of hummus. Ooh, this actually might be over the calorie limit. Let's see here. Eek. Yeah, this is actually over the calorie limit. Um, I feel bad now, but at least it's all healthy stuff. I am going to eat it anyways because I made it and it took a lot of work. But I will tell you how many calories it is. And I had no idea that it would be that many calories. Um, let's see, carrots. Okay, this can't be right. That it's... There's no way this is right. Like, I believe that pita bread could be 300 calories, but there's no way that the hummus is 744 calories. Let me try finding a different hummus to log. Wow, I guess hummus really is that many calories. Is it? Could it really be? Yeah. So two cups of hummus is about 800 calories. So for the hummus alone, it's about my limit. So uh, I'll have to get less hummus next time, I guess. <laughs> I had no idea that hummus was so like high calorie. Must be the uh, tahini and hummus. But at least it's all healthy. Um, Okay, and then I need my tea. Okay, so for this meal, it is about 1,500 calories. That is insane. I had no idea that hummus and pita bread was so fattening. Um, wow. Uh, but on the plus side, for my week so far, I've been under 7,781 calories. So I think I can afford to possibly go over today. Oh, I don't think I logged my exercise for uh, today. I just did the dishes, but that's like standing around and then cooking's like standing around too. So that's a little bit of exercise for me. So I'm just gonna log some exercise. Hopefully I get more exercise in for today. So, yes, if you can't tell, I do feel guilty because I did go over the calorie limit I said I would go over, but I did not know it would be so many calories. I should have logged beforehand. So good though. Pita bread and hummus. Mm. That is really good pita bread. I added um, garlic and parsley to it. So good. Mm. Here I always thought that Hummus was like a healthy snack. I guess it is in small portions, but you don't want to eat more than like a cup of it at a time, I guess. So I do gravely apologize for this, but at least it's not going to mess me up because I've been under in calories so far this week. I do recommend though if you decide to do this and 
you need to watch your calories and just uh, get a smaller portion of uh, hummus. And drinking uh, Cylon tea that um, one of my viewers sent me. It's delicious. It's by Harney and Sons. So good. Alright, I want to try it with the carrots though. So. Mm. Mm hmm. So good. So, I slept in like all day yesterday. I was really tired. Today, I hope to do taxes. Get that over with. <clears throat> Hopefully I get a nice tax return this year. If I do get a nice tax return, the money will go towards uh, my cat, making sure that my cat has all her medical expenses taken care of. And my business. Speaking of which, it's been a while since I've checked the Etsy shop to see if I sold anything. Or if anything new has happened. Hmm. I haven't sold anything, but somebody new has favorited one of my items. By far the most popular item on my site is my Hunter's Moon Fairy Broom. Which is awesome because that's like one of my favorite things too. This pita bread got the nice pocket in it that it's supposed to. See this one would be good for a pocket sandwich. Because I got like the nice pocket in it. So I get paid soon. But I can't really do anything with it. Because I have to take care of my cat. So I can't like buy new tarot cards or you know do anything fun with it. But that's okay because my cat's more important anyways. She's pretty much all better. It's just there's going to be vet bills to make sure that she gets all better. She's like not having as bad diarrhea as she used to. I know this is a bad topic to talk about while we're eating, but you know, she's not making as much mess as she used to. And she's not going outside the litter box as much anymore, which is. of a relief because maybe I won't have to keep buying those expensive puppy beds even though she's taking all of her medicine now I still worry to make sure that she's like completely healing because she does have um, FIV which is like the cat version of AIDS. So she's like immune co compromised already. So like, you know, having parasites isn't going to help out her immune system any. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of worrisome. Um, but she doesn't look anywhere near as bad as she did when I took her to the vet <clears throat> last month because last month she had and here what was wrong with her last month is she had um, the second eyelid was showing and 
Um, she had like a bloated pot belly. And she had been drinking more water and eating more food than usual. The vet thought it was diabetes because she felt the kidneys were kind of swollen. But they were just swollen because she's been drinking a lot of water because of the worms. And I know it was worms because I found it in her poo. But anyways, not like I was digging around in her poo or anything, but... <laughs> You actually don't want to know how I found it, okay? Um, but, uh, so, anyways, yeah, so, I had actually had the suspicion that it was worms because as soon as her second eyelid started showing up, I googled it, I was like, what does the second eyelid mean? and soft stools and it was saying parasites so like I knew oh shit I haven't dewormed her for a while and I was like yep that's probably parasites and you know when we were at the vet when I was at the vet I was like well what about wormer you know because I was asking the vet what I could get for a hundred dollars because like a hundred dollars was all I could spend and the vet's like, well, I think what's most important is antibiotics. So, only thing I could afford was antibiotics and the vet appointment for a hundred dollars, and um, actually is more than a hundred dollars. And then, uh, um, And then if I would have just got that warmer, which warmer probably costs, I don't know, $20 or less, problem solved. But the vet thought it was diabetes and wanted me to do a test that would have cost $200 for the test for diabetes. But at least I'm going to a new vet now, her first vet, the vet that took care of her when she was a kitten. And they will treat her for worms. The most important thing is to treat her for the worms right now. And then I'm going to update her vaccines too. But I'm going to treat her for worms first and then... If I have enough extra money, I'll update her vaccines too. If not, I'll take her next month to update her vaccines. Actually, if I get my tax return sooner, then I'll take her sooner. But I think the most I'm going to be able to afford to spend at the vet this month is $200. I'm not going to eat any more of this, but I would like to finish my olives. I ate quite a bit, so that was pretty good. Good or bad, I don't know, because it's high calorie, but... <laughs> That's okay, I'll be sure to get a workout in today. In fact, since I am up early, let's see, Saturday, Oh, all the kids are going to be at the pool. I was thinking I could go to the pool and work out, but there, all the kids are at the pool on Sunday or Saturday. Yeah, I don't think I want to go to the pool on Saturday. So, um, that sucks because I really want to get, get like a pool workout in. Maybe if I go early enough, then the kids won't be at the pool. Actually, I don't think they open until later on Saturdays anyways. I'll just go to uh, Planet Fitness. I know it does suck that I have to have two gym memberships. But the reason why I have two gym memberships is because Planet Fitness has like the massage 
and the tanning and um, good weight equipment. And then YMCA, it has good weight equipment, but it also has the classes and it has um, the pool, which the pool is very important. Um, so like the only other gym that would have all those things is Club Northwest, but Club Northwest is like $60 a month, and right now I'm only paying uh, $47 a month for the two gym memberships I have. So if I, because I get a reduced rate at um, YMCA, so like if I were to go to Club Northwest, it would still cost me more than having two gym memberships elsewhere. So I might as well have two gym memberships elsewhere. And then like with those two gym memberships, I get like uh, free guest passes. So if one of my friends want to go to one of those gyms, they can with me. So that's cool. Although getting a friend to come to the gym with you is often like pulling teeth, I swear. Nobody ever wants to work out with me. <laughs> I don't know why. They only wanted to work out with me <clears throat> when I was really, really <clears throat> fit. I don't know why, because it's like, I mean, it's not like I'm not fit now, because like underneath all this like protective insulation there is um a healthy layer of or there's healthy muscle too there's lots of muscle underneath there and like you know the more exercise the more that muscle comes back but you know I do I'm I am kind of I'm kind of flabby right now um I will admit that um <laughs> But, I don't know, my weight gain didn't really start until after my last break. Um, I was super fit before then, but after my last break, um, I had a vitamin deficiency and I was really depressed and I think it was because of my vitamin deficiency that I got so depressed. I was deficient in vitamin B's, vitamin B12 and vitamin B6 and I think thymine also. So like I was just like wanting to be in bed all day long and that's when the weight really started to pack on and like you know before I was eating like mac and cheese all the time while I was fit and I didn't cut that habit out. I kept eating mac and cheese even though I wasn't exercising. I was just being in bed all day and the weight really crept on fast. Plus I was addicted to Taco Bell Cinnabon bites. <laughs> that I, I swear is like what made me gain the weight the most because I would go in I would get like a 12 pack of Cinnabon Bites for breakfast almost every day. I swear, I was addicted to them. So, that's what made me gain the weight. I haven't gotten those in ages. I can't even remember the last time I was in a Taco Bell. I want to say it was last summer. Maybe. Yeah, probably last summer. McDonald's, on the other hand, I do have a weakness for McDonald's. It's probably because I went there all the time when I was a little kid. I got chicken nuggets and got those little Barbies and my little ponies and my Happy Meal. And, you know, as you're a little kid, you're happy because you got the sweet and sour sauce and the chicken nuggets and the little Barbies. <laughs> yeah. Um, but. Yes, I have fond memories of McDonald's, but like, McDonald's is getting so expensive now, I hardly ever go there anymore either, but I probably go to McDonald's like once a month, 
maybe more if there's like coupons like during the Monopoly game I usually go there more oh there went an olive okay What should I do today? Should I do... I should probably do squats because I can do deadlifts and I can do a uh, bench press at home with my uh, barbell. Um, but I can't really do squats because like it's hard to like lift it up onto the my back. I, I mean I probably could if I really wanted to but it's not really the right kind of barbell for that because it's like a preacher curler barbell. So like it's easy to hold it to do the um, bench press and it's easy to hold it when you're doing deadlifts but like it'd be weird doing uh, sorry food under my nails I know I need to wash my hands um, be hard to hold it um, doing squats because like a pe preacher curler bar is like oh you know it's got the weird handles so it'd be weird on your back and it's not as long so yeah I'll do squats today all right well here's all the leftovers and yeah that was delicious. I hope you all have a lovely evening. Thanks for joining me. Bye.